Hey there, and welcome to the Task Board series. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. In this lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to create a task board using Studio Binder's task management feature. But first, what exactly is a task board? Task boards are Studio Binder's Kanban style approach to task management. It's a visual way to track tasks, allowing your team to see everything in progress at a glance. To access the task board feature, head to your account dashboard. You can find it in the top navigation bar or along the left-hand sidebar. Once you're there, let's go ahead and create a new task board. First, click on the new task board button. Now you'll want to give your board a name. You can name it after a project, a specific workflow, or anything you need to track. For this example, we'll keep it simple and name it after a project. After naming your board, click Create Task Board. From here, you can customize your board background. Choose from either a preset color or image, or upload one of your own images if you want something more personal. I have a project image I'm going to use, so I'll click the Upload button and drag and drop my image here like this. Once you're happy with the background, hit Save. And just like that, your task board is ready to go. Now that we have our board set up, let's take a quick tour of the layout. On the left sidebar, you'll see a list of your active task boards. You can add more boards by using the Add Task Board button here. Clicking the More button gives you additional options like changing the background, renaming the board, or archiving it when you're done. You'll find a drop-down menu on the toolbar that lets you toggle between active and archived task boards. On the right, you'll see a list of team members who have access to the board. By default, any team member with an admin role automatically has access. If you need to assign access to another team member, just click the member icons and select their name from the team member section. If you have a lot of team members, use the search bar to find someone quickly. And to remove someone from the board, simply click the X next to their name and they'll no longer have access. And that's it, you've just created your very own task board. In our next lesson, we'll show you how to set up columns, cards, and checklists to really customize your workflow. For more lessons, check out our Academy page using the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.